Okay, what I've done now is I've taped the board down so that uh, I can work on it without it moving about all over the place. I've got me uh, permanent marker for filling in the, uh, the tracks, push button and my LED already drilled, uh, pre-drilled the holes for the connectors. Now we're not going to be making pads around the pins of the connectors. Uh, we're not dealing with um, super duper currents. So um, I should be bringing the track up to the hole, edge of the hole, and then we would be using a piece of wire looped around the pin and then soldered down to the track when we come to do the assembly. Okay. Um, also I've got um, oh where are you? There you are. Camera focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus. I don't know if you can see that but that's a wedge type thin marker and um, this is what we're going to be using to mark out the tracks. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the pads for the pins, uh, for the push buttons and the LED and then once we've done the pads we will then uh, concentrate on the tracks themselves and all you need to do is put the push button with the centre punch um, mark roughly in the centre and then where you've got the pins just draw one line out by the side and that will then give you the location of your tracks. Then what we will be doing afterwards is making them into pads simply by making a square like that. And don't worry if it's not a perfect square. As long as you've got a large land mass and then put the button back in you can see whether you're right or wrong and you can extend the land mass as required. There we go. And bear in mind this is a poor man's um, system um, making a printed circuit board system because not everybody will have access to a laser printer to do it that way they won't have access to uh, silk screening do it that way photo etch resist you know it there are many ways of uh, making printed circuit boards and it's just a case of um, using what you have to hand basically. And doing it this way is relatively easy. Uh, time consuming yes but then anything that uh, is worth doing is uh, worth spending time doing and we do the same with the LED work out where we want our pads and then increase
increase the lung mass. Now don't forget, when you're doing this, that uh, although the LED is um, polarized, in other words it's got a positive and a negative, it doesn't mean that when you put it down one way to do make the design of the board, that you have to stick to that way. When you're running, doing the tracks, you could turn it over. Okay? So you've got the uh, pause at the other end. You know, it's, it's just um, how, you know, what works for you, basically. Now, I won't keep you here watching me do this. I'm going to um, finish the pads and then I'm going to bring you back and uh, show you the uh, tracks, okay?